हेलो एवरीवन आई मिस मेघा करवल डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग फ्रॉम प्रवीण पटेल कॉलेज ऑफ डिप्लोमा इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी बाइंग इन अ लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव स्टडी व्हाट इज अ टेम्परेरी ब्रिज एंड व्हाट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ टेम्परेचर ब्रिज नाउ इन दिस लेक्चर वी स्टडी अबाउट द रिमेनिंग पार्ट ऑफ टेम्परेरी ब्रिज एंड पर्मनेंट ब्रिज एंड मेंटेनेंस ऑफ ब्रिज सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द कॉज वे a causeway is the same as a culvert but the road level is below the surrounding ground level or very near to the bed level of the stream a road causeway is a permanent ditch which allow floods to over pass over it classification of causeway flush causeway low level causeway high level causeway so first is flush causeway flush causeway usually are provided in a hilly roads if the maximum depth of the flood water does not exceed about 1.75 m and road does not remain interrupted for the more than 10 to 15 days in a year in this type of a causeway the road on the pavement is laid at the bed level of the stream without any vents the water of the stream flows continuously over the firmly paved bed for the smooth surface to protect the floor a cert a curtain walls it's provide on the downstream side and apron wall the upstream side next is low level causeway it is a known as a irish bridge the bed of small river or stream which remain dry or most part of the year are generally possible without a bridge this involves a heavy earthwork in cutting and bridge approach the banks of such a types of streams are cut down at any at an easy slope for streams of river plants in a plants having a sandy base if it is often sufficient to lay lay bundles of the grass over and across the sand track for a crossing important from the traffic point of view it is essential to lay a metal or puka paving of the stone or brick set in a lime mortar on substantial bed of the concrete next is high level causeway It is also known as a submersible bridge according to the IRC it is a formation level is fixed in which way as not to cause interruption to traffic during floods for more than 3 days at a more time more for more than 6 times in a year a sufficient numbers of the opening are provided to allow the normal flood discharge to pass through them with the required clearance they are provided with the abutments and piers floors and slab or arches to for from the required number of opening machinery bridge permanent bridge the bridge which can be of constructed as well as maintained at the high cost and have a large spans of useful life are known as a permanent bridge first is a machinery bridge machinery bridges are very commonly used for road bridges of moderate span their simplicity economy used for road bridges of moderate span there are the three types stone machinery brick machinery and cement concrete machinery next type is arch bridge the arch bridge is very commonly used from times emergencies they are more graceful placing in appearance first is barrel type of field spandrel arches rib type or open spandrel ribbon arch this is a two types of machinery bridge arch bridge so barrel type arches resembled a curved slab their deck is generally supported on earth filling placed on the arch slab and retained by the spandrel walls that is why it is also known as a field spandrel arch rib edge is a typical open spandrel ribbed arch as shown in a figure they are similar to curved beams space suitable along the width of the bridge in this case is the deck is supported on the column which are in a turn supported on the arch ribs next is movable bridge movable span of the bridge are sometimes used over the navigable channels where permanent and 
sufficient clean water may be water way cannot be provided movable span they are needed in order to provide the passage for the mustard mustard vessel or streamers when the bridge is to be across a navigable river or clock movable bridge are the following types swing bridges bascule bridges traverse bridges transporter bridges and lift bridges so first is a swing bridges this bridge consists of the balanced girder swinging round a quadrant of a circle over a pier or a pivot on or a turn table next is a bascule bridge the bascule bridge can be raised slightly to permit the passage of the numerous small boats which fail to clear the close span by small margin they revolve about the horizontal axis and vertical position and when the lifted attain the upright position the most primitive bascules were the cable type to see in a figure next is a lift bridges the vertical lift bridges have proved to be a more economical both on the construction and operation than the spin and bascule bridges they are a simple design and construct and easy to operate so uh, in a figure shown below the consist of a span is suspended by means of a cables which is passed over the shares at the tower top this provided with an overhead span and counter weight to make it more rigid next is transport bridge this type of a bridge consists of the cradle uh, which moves under the overhead bridge and the, uh, the overhead bridges is spanned on the high towers provided on each backs last is transport bridge this type of a bridge can be rolled backward and forward across the opening they are provided with the roller on the shore and which is helps in a rolling if Uh, it of its position along the approach next is rcc bridge slab type rcc bridge girder with varying movement of inertia rcc girder bridge this is a three types you know rcc bridge so first is slab type bridge it is it consists of the simple slab of uniform thickness laid on the abutment girder bridge is like a continuous bridge suitable span is 15 meter next is rcc girder bridge the bridge having a superstructure consisting of rcc girders and slab which support the bridge floor is known as a rcc girder bridge in this type of a rcc bridge the flooring is carried by two or more rcc main girders supported on abutment and piers with the rcc slab on their top depending upon the structural form of the superstructure rcc girder bridge they are further classified into following three types parapet girder bridge t beam hollow girder bridge parapet girder type in this type of a rcc girder bridge parapet girders are used as a main supporting member with the thick rcc slab or transverse beam with thinner rcc slab cast monolithically with the parapet girders at their bottom as shown in the figure this type of a rcc girder bridge is used for roadway bridge having a narrow width t bridge t beam bridge in this type of a rcc girder bridge t beam are used as a main girder for wider bridges the roadway is supported on a number of t beams as shown as longitudinal girder with or without transverse beam the beam the t beam may be simply supported continuous cantilever or balanced cantilever etc third is hollow bridge hollow girder bridge in this type of a rcc girder bridge closed box section rcc girder are used which were, which may be made multi multi cellular or rectangular or trapezoidal shaped cell as shown in a figure the design of a hollow girder bridge is similar to that t beam superstructure except that the tensile bars are spread over the large area on the base slab such as rcc girder bridge are economical for spans between 25 to 30 meter next is pre stress concrete bridge the bridge having the superstructure consisting of pre stress concrete member is in any structural form which supported which support the bridge floor in this bridge is the members of superstructure are pre stressed and used in the same manner as a, in a rcc bridge 
एडवांटेजेस ऑफ प्रिस्ट्रेस ब्रिजेस हैव दे हैव हायर लोड कैरिंग कैपेसिटी फीवर फीवर एक्सपांशन जॉइंट्स रिड्यूस डिफ्लैक्शन ऑफ गर्डर्स लाइटर कंस्ट्रक्शन more aesthetic appearance more effective use of the precast members better resistant to fatigue due to elimination of cracking of its member under server traffic loads less cost of maintenance disadvantages of prestress bridges use of high tensile steel results in a high cost kill supervision required special equipments are required rcc balance balanced cantilever bridges the bridge having its superstructure consists of the rcc balanced cantilever beams which carry the bridge floor suspension bridges the bridges consisting of two or more cables hanging in the curve portion co- curve which support the roadway so sling bridge ram bridge and trestle bridge sling bridge This is a common type of a temporary suspension bridges it is initial consist of two sets of cables or ropes which carry the roadway through suspe- a suspender known as a string the roadway is provided with the wooden plugs which are connected at the end of the two wooden tension beams hung by suspe- suspenders from the cables or rope ram bridge it is a cheap type of a uh, temporary bridges so trim temporary suspension bridges because it requires a small quantity materials and can be constructed in a very short time this bridge is also called as because of ram joints the bank approach to the bridge floor in this type of a suspension bridges the roadway is directly laid on the cables or rope for most of its length the roadway consists of the wooden plaques decking and ribbons shown in a figure next is trestle bridge suspension bridges In this type of suspension bridges the roadway is provided on the trestle which are supported on the cables as shown in the figure so this is also some images following are the steps involved in the bridge construction first is a proposal second site selection third administration approval fourth is technical sanction then estimate sanction estimate design calculation detail estimate tendering process soil testing construction substructure superstructure completion report and open to the traffic inspection of bridge pre monsoon inspection the inspection shall cover the following points any sign of settlement of a foundation check the condition of reinforcement any sign of development of cracks in a concrete abutment and piers condition of panes condition of parapet walls condition of wearing coat and its thickness behavior of expansion joints any sign of scores along with maximum depth of scores detail inspection of steel work of girder obstruction of waterways inspection of drainage work post monsoon inspection the inspection shall cover with the following points condition of slab girder footpaths drainage system condition of superstructure substructure inspection of development of cr- cracks and condition of approaches of the bridges next is maintenance of bridges the art of upkeeping the bridges components in good condition to keep the bridges in the best serviceable order for longer period is long known as a bridge maintenance or maintenance of bridge necessity of bridge maintenance so after any bridge is constructed and open to the traffic abutment piers wing walls approaches main girders flooring system railing kits components such as foundations etc are subjected to damage due to the one or the other reasons unless the constant and proper upkeep of the bridge components is not made they are liable damage and may endanger the safety of the bridge structure poor design and construction may result to worse problem for the bridge maintenance even if this bridges as are available design and constructed periodic maintenance become however the extent of maintenance depends upon the bridge type moreover the bridge moreover the useful life of the bridge is such much reduced due to the improper of or faulty maintenance etc the various maintenance of the bridges can be broadly classified into following two types routine maintenance the maintenance works which is carried out regularly on the basis of the routine inspection known as a routine maintenance the routine maintenance of the bridge includes the following maintenance jobs first is a proper functioning of web holes and other drainage services proper functioning of bearings and expansion joint repairs and piers 
repairs of piers and abutments uh, for signs and scoring clearing of obstruction causing score in the channel detection and re rectification of workers leakage through the bridge flow maintenance of waterproofing coats maintenance of wearing coat of the bridge flow maintenance of curbs railing parapets wall of the bridge careful examination of steel structure or for corrosion development of cracks and their treatment any as i suggested by the bridge engineer next is special maintenance the maintenance works of the special characters which is carried out after the certain period on the basis of the details of inspection is called as a special maintenance this type of a maintenance is carried out once in a 3 to 5 years after detailed uh, visual exam examination of all the bridges components in order to rectify the detect defects of special characters special maintenance of the bridge includes the following maintenance job repair to formation of cracks developed in a rcc piers and abutment due to the settlement or due to the absence of expansion joint repair to break breaking of surface as well as as a result using a bricks or stones of insufficient strength repair to expose reinforcement due to the disintegration of concrete any such repairs of special characters like a prevention or measures for excessive or score causing under pine pining etc thank you